Hello folks. Well, we had a little glass accident. Remember what I told you, John and Neely? I was going to break them, and I always do, but we, I got... We didn't. Well, I say we, meaning myself. I have three glasses left, and I'm going to try to get to 20, 20 before I break them all. Um, here is a blended Scotch whiskey from about 1934. It says, a blend of our finest malt and grain whiskeys. Complex, sweet, and mellow flavor. I think I was so overwhelmed by the quality of this place. Glen Morangi tenure that I broke it. But that's really an excuse. I just the bottle slipped out of my hand. Um, product of Scotland, so it's this is a blended from Scotland. We just had a, a single malt from Scotland. Yeah, and this is from William Grant Company. They bought this brand years ago. Mm, okay, so this is this is an acquired company. We're still uh, if I'm not mistaken, we were dealing with the Still family owned company, which But this is family owned too, just a just different family bought from another family. Oh, well. We're still we're still dealing with the uh, family owned, yeah. So screw up top. Classic. No cork. <laughs> They're all screw up tops. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's that's enough. Although I didn't really get to drink the that's Glen, enough. The Glen Morangi that I since I broke glass all into it. It was a nice little sip. <laughs> okay, so this is going to have a little grain to it, so it's going to be... I'm, I'm assuming... I've never had it before. Yeah, I'll take it over here. Just a second. Stop on it. I, I've never had it before. Uh, yeah, but I have had, I've had American whiskeys like Weller's, where it's, 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 a, a, it's a wheat forward. It's, it's a wheat. It's an, and to me, wheat in something is really strong. I don't even like wheat in beers. So, it's, I, I don't even eat wheat. Yeah, and the bread. one we had was 10 years. This is age only three years. Three years, okay. And it's got different Scottish So, we're going to we're gonna get some more complexities that have been filtered out by the aging process of the other one. Yeah, and this is using scotches from all across Scotland. So, it's not just a single area. You know, you've got your highlands, lowlands, and, and whatnot. With the Scottish grain whiskey, so and what grain do they use? They generally use in corn, I think, or maize, as they say in Europe. They make corn over there. I thought corn was indigenous to the Americas. Yeah, but I mean, they've been importing maize into Europe for hundreds of years since. Oh, they so this is an adjunct. Ooh, interesting. Grain, yeah, blended whiskeys are always going to use that. In in Asia, we found out that the adjunct is what. Rice. Rice. And in the Western world, it's corn. Cheapest cheapest grain you can deal with is rice. But good grain. I love rice, so you're not going to hear me say bad things about rice. I'll eat my red beans and my jambalaya, kids. Yeah, so this is a very popular product. It's inexpensive. You know, you're talking about very low. $10 a fifth. Or less. Okay. We're going to go ahead and give this a sip. Well, what about the color first? It's gold. It's lighter than gold. The it's, it's, about, it's about the same color as, as the uh, Glimmerangi. Glimmerangi, yeah. Nice alcohol eggs. So we're going to go ahead and give this a taste and talk about the complexity, the flavor notes, and how this goes across uh, as a <laughs> together, pardon me for trying to find the right words, a together type marriage going on between. Taste, complexity, mild field, and alcohol. In the proofs, yeah, 80 proof. The other one was 86 proof. And we know we got off of that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one we got. We got an A-plus on that. I liked it. and um, But I, it wasn't smoky, and it wasn't peaty. It was just uh, super smooth, and you could tell that it had been in the barrel for 10 years. And like yeah. you said on the other video, they only used those barrels twice. Right. Now, with Clay and McGregor, they might be using the barrels for 120 years, you know. Well, we don't know. We, we can only speculate. We don't have that data in front of us to, to comment. I'm definitely getting peat okay. here. So we're going to go ahead and take a sniff. I'm getting peat. There's, there's, there's a little peat, yeah, which which wasn't in the, uh, the Highland that we had because it's not indigenous to the Highland. Uh, we will do an isolate next uh, where you will get all the peat you want, sir. Okay. This has got dirtiness to it. And I don't mean that in a bad way, just bad way. I just mean soil. Okay, taste. Uh, woo. <coughs> uh, 
That's uh, which what they'd say in the old cowboy movies. Meaning not. This has got some bite to it. Yeah. This has got some. It's almost like a red beanie type thing going on with it. It's got the smoothness of a jackhammer. Dang, 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 Damn. Okay. But it lets you know it's there. It's in arrived. Some, in some cases, don't you feel we should have tried with this one first? Maybe. <laughs> we went straight into the, to the gold medal winner. Oh, and then we. Uh, actually, this is actually won medals in its class. Blended Scotch whiskey. Um, they talking about baked apples. I don't know about the baked apples. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I get the baked apples inside of a pie without any of the flavor. Without any of the flavor, I'm getting like I'm eating apple pie with nothing. Well, if you look at the website, they show an with apple. Nothing. They show an apple that they put in an oven. You know, just by itself. Oh, I get that. I get that. Apple skin. Yeah, apple skin. That 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 kind of mushiness. That 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 mealiness that you get from an apple. I'm getting that. Am I getting the really good stuff you get off an apple? No. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting the apple. They say on the website, and it's a pretty detailed website for Clan McGregor. They say, well, look, they say the, the way they save money with this brand is they distill it and blend it and age it in Scotland. They ship it over to the United States in huge tanks. They bottle it in New Jersey. They say that's where they save the money. Because they're not mm -hmm. shipping it over in bottles, worrying about them breaking. Right, smart. Good that's thing I don't that. ship whiskey, huh? Break all the bottles. But, um, <laughs> but they they bottle it in New Jersey and that's what they've always done since 1934 so that's where the budget comes in they say from that method and it's not the only scotch that's done that way but anyway I'm just we tried it you said you were curious to try some of our blends I don't know what score you give it if you'd ever buy it or whatever I mean I bought it for really cheap at Walmart so I said what the heck you know it's not bad. I've had worse. They had a nine seventy five. So with, with with saying, all right, it's ten bucks. Okay, I'm not going to go into nickels and pennies and all that stuff. Um, You've had worse. I've had worse. So this is this is fairly clean. It's a little on the raw side. I'm getting the apple, you know, like I said, but it's like the mealiness and the, and the, uh, and the mushiness and the, the skin, which you know, which adds to the whole flavor without the sweetness and. Um, so it's it's not bad, it's not great. It's not knocking my socks off. I'd have to give it like right at about C plus. So high average. Yeah, it's it's above average. Above average meaning that you can you could drink it. It's not gonna kill you. But Unless you know you you're not you're not going down that skid row looking for your, your cheapest you can get. But ten dollars price on is probably a, a good good deal, uh, but this is something I'd, I'd want to buy all the time just yeah. because it's 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 low on the raw side, it's virgin. It needs to be, it needs to be matured a little bit. It needs to come into its own. It's I think if they had if they took this blended or not and aged it and longer. aged it longer, then they would have something that was close to getting a nice metal. And now, to be fair, it does have a little waxiness, too, by the way, in honeycomb. But to be fair, William Grant Company, who bought this in, like, 1964, they do put out some higher-grade scotch whiskeys. Like, they have 12, 18-year-age stuff. You know what I mean? It's not going to be 975 at Walmart. So they do put that stuff out. But this is just an offering to say, here's so a We need to write those names down, and I'll go get a bottle and we'll try it. Yeah, William Grant. Grants. You see it, Grants. It's got that kind of oh, triangle Grants. bottle. Oh, I've had the Grants before. A triangle looking bottle. Yeah, I've had the Grants and the Red Label. That's who owns this. Okay. It's uh, it's a little better. The yeah. Grants is a little better. And this, I would imagine, before we st stop the video, I would imagine that 99% of the people that go to Walmart or Winn-Dixie and buy this are blending it, uh, uh, mixing it to make cocktails. Oh, I don't know why you blend this. You know people make mixed drinks. They're not going to sit there in these glasses doing this. Oh, yeah, it's got baked apple. You know, they're just not buying it for that. The sad part of the story is they're probably mixing it with Sprite. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Right. You know, and they're saying, 
we watch the game, yeah, you know, that kind of thing, you know. Ooh. And it's sad in a way, Ooh. it's sad in a way because there is some quality to it, you know, that you're going to miss if you're just mixing it with Sprite. Right. Right. It's not trash. I mean, I, 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 I don't think it's trash. I don't think it is. I don't think it is either. I, I, I think it's good. And I think for now, I'm going to stick to my C plus because I, I, I think they can make something better and charge a little bit more money and possibly get more revenue in. Who knows the cost factor between ages something a little longer. It's just their business model. They want to offer the low low up to the high high. You know, so this, so you got to start somewhere, and that's where they're starting here. Here we are. This is what we have at the bottom, and you can go up. And we probably will go up. So anyway, thanks for watching this video production. I did a review with my daughter. I did a solo review. And I have, I'm going to be, watch, be careful to tap it. Stop I, it. <laughs> I have a... Uh, uh, Take uh, the bottle away from the glass, sir. Whoa. Away from the glass. I have done uh, video reviews in uh, taste challenges with it. So thanks for watching this video production. Whatever you think about Clan McGregor, let us know. We're going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeast Louisiana. Why does it sound almost like Louisiana?